Okay, so now the Comanches are sort of skirting around the northern edges of the Spanish positions in present-day Texas. They encounter the Spanish in New Mexico, but they're not yet in Texas. And after all, Santa Fe is a long way away. And oftentimes what the Spanish are doing in Texas, the province of Texas, is not effectively communicated to what's going on in New Mexico. So they're both Spanish provinces, but they don't talk much. So the Spanish in Texas are not really keen on this new people yet. So they busy themselves with their more immediate threat, which of course is the French. The French are operating in the lower Mississippi River Valley by this time, and in fact have put a trade outpost on the Red River at the head of navigation, which at that time uh, was the town of Natchitoches. Above the Red River at Natchitoches, there was a massive log jam that went for about 100 miles, which kept anybody from getting any further north. So the French went to the beginning of the log jam, built the fort, um, and there began to establish trade relations with the Caddos. Ah, so this will be where the Spanish out-romance the Caddos away from the French, or so they think. So you have Fort uh, St. John the Baptiste, St. St. John the Baptist in Natchitoches, and the Spanish decide that they're going to establish an outpost near that in a direct, almost direct westerly direction from Natchitoches at a place called Los Adeas. And so there they will try to win over the hearts and minds of the Caddos. Behind Los Adeas, there's also a number of missions where they're trying to really romance the Caddos into the Spanish sphere. Well, the French are not as interested in winning their hearts and minds as they're trying to win the trade concessions from the Caddo. And they're very interested in getting the Caddo into their commercial sphere and through commerce, bring them into their political sphere. This wilderness dance has gone on for about two decades uh, by the time that the Spanish make Los Adeas. Uh, the French had lured the Spanish in, in many ways, uh, to establishing these outposts in East Texas. Well, they don't thrive. The Spanish are at the very end of their empire, and the French become actually better neighbors than enemies uh, because these two communities have to start to rely on each other. From time to time, there will be an outbreak of war in Europe, which will cause these two neighboring communities, Los Adeas, uh, near present-day Robilene, Louisiana, and Natchitoches, the French outpost, to uh, have to go to war with each other, but it's usually non-lethal and it's certainly uh, not particularly violent. The garrisons are terribly small and terribly dependent on each other. Eventually though, the Spanish have to figure out how to shorten their supply lines and East Texas is just too doggone far away. So a bunch of the missions that had been assigned to the Caddos begin to fall back and they fall back to places like San Antonio de Bayar and a bunch of these missions reestablish themselves in a cluster along the banks of the San Antonio River, and that becomes the new center of gravity within Spanish Texas. There was an outpost, still in East Texas, called Nacogdoches, almost due west of French Nacogdoches. So why are these two similarly named towns? Because both of them were using Caddo words, the same Caddo word, uh, but one was through a French filter, one was through a Spanish filter. But if you take a line on a map between Natchitoches and Nacogdoches, that was the real Caddo heartland. That was what was up for grabs during this time period. But the Spanish finally decide that the gain was not worth the effort. So they fall back. They fall back to San Antonio, they establish that cluster, and that becomes really the, the northern limits of the Spanish frontier in Tejas.